here I have the Samsung Epic 4G and the HTC Evo 4G. I know some of you have been wanting to see a shootout, and I want to do a speed comparison for you today. The Samsung Epic 4G is running a stock ROM featuring Android 2.1. Samsung has yet to release a 2.2 ROM, and as of the recording of this video, I was unable to locate a custom ROM featuring Android 2.2. The Evo is running Android 2.2 from PC Geek's OMJ ROM. To give you a better sense of speed, the benchmarks I'll be running today are... The Google V8 is a browser benchmark used to test a JavaScript implementation in a browser. Since viewing web pages is something you likely would do on the device, bigger numbers in this case are better. The SunSpider JavaScript benchmark again tests browser performance. Since the text on screen is too small to read, its tests include 3D, access functions, bit stops, recursion, crypto, date functions, math, regular expression, and string functions. The total provides some indication on the amount of time needed to complete the entire test. The lower the number, the better. Since it takes a while to finish, I'm going to skip ahead. Linpack measures the system's ability to do floating point calculations. Adobe Flash support certainly makes use of this ability. The bigger the number, the better. Since the test runs relatively quickly, I'm going to run it three times.
If you've ever seen a benchmark video, everybody always seems to include Quadrant, and I'm no exception. It's relatively complete, and as you're probably thinking, the Epic is going to lose this one, isn't it? Yes, but pay attention to the 3D sequences. As you saw from the Quadrant video, even though the Epic got a lower overall score, there was something about the 3D that was better. So I went looking for a 3D benchmark and found GL Benchmark. If you want to just test 3D performance on a device, this is the thing to use. It has a large number of tests, which means it takes a long time to finish. In fact, more than 7 minutes. Since I currently have the 10 minute limit on all my videos, I'm going to show you one part that was particularly interesting. I learned the reason for the Epic's enhanced 3D performance is due to the fact it has the PowerVR SGX540 chip from Imagination Technologies which essentially doubles the 3D performance, whereas the Evo does 3D in software. So for applications or games that are mostly 3D, the Epic could provide a better overall experience. The net effect is, if you expect better performance from the Epic because it's the latest offering, you won't find it, except in applications that can take advantage of the 3D hardware acceleration. If you are going to buy the Epic, buy it because you want a physical hardware keyboard, or some other reason like the AMO LED screen makes you happier.